So UWS is uh, grounded in um, Greater Western Sydney. Um, it's a young university and in fact is celebrating its 25th anniversary next year. Um, but it also has some tradition and history. Uh, the Hawkesbury Agricultural College, which makes up um, you know, one of the, the founding institutions of the university, was established in 1891. Yeah. So we have uh, a well-structured uh, and well-funded program, which we call the Our Future Initiative, designed to develop and then deploy a blended learning approach. Um, what we're trying to do is bring together the best of face-to-face -face learning uh, as well as online capabilities that students in increasingly demand. Um, the good thing is that my team is working really closely with uh, the academic side of the organisation uh, to establish what we call a blended learning technology framework, which is designed to better support those kind of initiatives. Um, there are many um, uh, opportunities to explore uh, MOOCs, for example, uh, but I think we need to look at what the practice and cultural change implications are of moving to that strategy as much as we need to assess what the technology requirements might be. So we have a, an increasingly mature business intelligence capability. Uh, we're not only uh, capturing data into our warehouse for the purposes of reporting, but we're now in a position where we can do some predictive analytics to look at what are some of the things that drive student retention and, and other things that are important to the university. I wouldn't say that that was big data in the sense that that's commonly understood. Big data really at the moment is probably more something we need to manage within the research community. Um, we have uh, one of the world's largest uh, carbon capture forest experiments going on up on the um, uh, Hawkesbury campus uh, and the amount of data that that facility is producing continues to increase and that's a real challenge for me as, as the CIO uh, but equally there are lots of services that we can leverage that are provided by other organisations to help us deal with that challenge. I don't think anybody would be surprised if I said it was social, mobile and cloud. I think uh, if I look at each of those areas, um, if we take social for example, uh, my daughter who's started university this year goes to a different institution I'd have to add. Um, while they provide all sorts of tools for students to collaborate, her and her classmates still use Facebook for that. And I think that's a real challenge for us to really understand what students actually want to use and how we can integrate that into the environment that, uh, that we manage. Uh, when it comes to mobile, uh, because we've given an iPad to all first year commencing students this year, uh, we're really um, are fostering that approach to being able to work anytime, anywhere. One of the really interesting uh, observations that I've had since we gave those iPads to the students is that they tend to stay on the campus longer. They're not going home to use the iPads. Because we've developed a pretty robust wireless capability on the campus, uh, they tend to stick around and use their iPads connecting to the network. Uh, and it's really brought some of the campuses to life more than uh, perhaps uh, previously. Um, when it comes to cloud, I think the whole market in that area will continue to mature and it's inevitable that we will move more and more of our services uh, to those sorts of hosted approaches. I think it's very difficult and in fact uh, almost impossible to predict uh, what the technology challenges might be in five years or, or ten years time. When you consider that the first iPhone was only released six years ago and the first iPad was only released three years ago, uh, it's hard to know what the environment might be like uh, if you look that far into the, into the future. Um, one thing I am certain though is that um, the use of technology will become even more ubiquitous within the community and the expectations of students and staff in terms of 
the sort of devices they can use, what they can do with them will just increase as time goes on. Uh, and the real challenge for us is to make sure that we've got some of the foundations right, such as our wireless infrastructure, to support an increasing number of devices. Uh, there's common, it's commonly thought that uh, the average person has three devices on them to begin with, and that by 2015 or 16 they may have six. So that creates some real challenges uh, for IT um, for IT managers. Um, but I think beyond that, um, it will further drive the need um, to pursue our online or our blended learning strategy, uh, because uh, students will expect to be able to study in their in their own time, uh, get access to the materials that they need uh, from wherever they are. Many analysts say that the three industry sectors that will be most transformed by technology over the next decade are defence, healthcare and education. That's why the University of Western Sydney has an appetite to invest in technology because it understands the reality of that and that's what makes my job so interesting and exciting to be at the vanguard of bringing about that change in such a fundamental way.